Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls series. So we are still in the basement of that house. I cleared out all of the uh, electrical stuff, except for this. For some reason I couldn't hit this. So um, we're going to get out of here today. There was a ton of zombies when we were uh, finishing up yesterday. It sounds like most of them are gone now. So we're just going to uh, do this. And that. Get out to the car and get out of here. I got seven skill points to spend too. I have an idea where I want to spend them, but haven't decided where I'm going to do that yet. Uh, oh, we're still out here. Let's go deal with them with the bat. Actually, we want to take these apart, I think, before we go. So let's just go ahead and do that. I hope I got food in the car, because like I barely have like any uh, stamina left because of my food situation. Might as well take this. Close that up. Take the electrical parts. Now we I almost ran out of AP ammo for this too. I can just sneak under that. And do that. There we go. Surprised they didn't blow this car up. Yeah, I know I'm hungry. Let's get home. Right after we murder this guy. Alright, home sweet home. Still got some work to do on this, this place too though. What have we spent today doing that? We got some repairs to do. Yeah, I haven't decided yet. Um, let's have a look what we got in here. Might as well put whatever gas we've got in the car. And let's just take everything if we can. Alright. Uh, let's go this way. Let's just drop off the stuff that we're not going to sell to the trader. Uh, the anvil. We might as well sell it. Let's scrap that. I think that's got everything we need for this to sell for the trader. That should close, right? Yeah, beautiful. I should get all four doors running Another that way. Wonderful morning in the apocalypse. Is it a wonderful morning? It doesn't feel like a wonderful morning. Ooh, we should take these. Oh no, take this and this. Nice. All right, let's sell this stuff off here. All right, well, I sold just about everything I could. We made about 17,000 on that run. That's not bad. Uh, that's including turning our quest into her. So let's go take this well, stuff. Actually, let's um, modify you. you can take all the dyes out. Might as well. I, I mean, I really don't need to right now. We're doing pretty well with everything, but I might as well. All right, with that being done, we made like 21,000. There's a bunch of stuff I can't sell right now, but we'll sell that later. All right, let's All go get the rest then. of the stuffs. Stay safe out there. I got to put the hatch door over that too. I keep forgetting I got to do that. Come on. That's going to be a two tripper. That's a big boy at the door. I should probably go take care of him real quick. Um, Yeah, I know I'm hungry. Hang on. Get that fixed up right quick here. Alright, let's go deal with this guy. More than one, apparently. I wish I could make like a really short um, drawbridge. Oh, that was a cop. That must have been a wandering horde then. I think there's somebody over here. Yep. It's that guy. Take care of the bear. 
take care of this guy. We get back to what we was doing. Yeah, man, this thing's doing a great job for us. Got to make another one though. Get a level 71 going again. We're gonna spend some skill points here in a second too. So actually, should probably just in case. All right, we'll dump this stuff away. Okay, we still got a bunch of stuff we can sell next time. So we've got you hanging on to that guy. These guys. Scrap these guys. Splitting crossbow bolts. Just open those. So you and you can get sold. You guys are getting sold next time. You. You. All right, let me put this stuff away and then we'll figure out what we're doing. So turning in that other quest, I went and took the uh, medical supplies that he offered me. And then there was a uh, compound bow that I took as well that I just were going to sell. So let's just get the rest of this stuff away. Alright, so I'm just going to go through. I'm going to buy some stuff here. I grabbed the rest of the stuff out of the car, which wasn't really too much left. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and buy some ammo and whatever. We made some good coin today, so I'm not afraid to use a bunch of it. That's all the stuff we sold her. Uh, what else do we got here? We don't need a gasoline pump. Not yet, anyway. Don't know if it actually functions. That would be kind of cool if it did. Um, what do they got here? Don't think so. Wait. Uh, nothing there. Actually, you know what? Might as well just do that while you got it. Saves me mining it. Uh, nothing there. Gunpowder, buy it all. Paper, we're good. Springs, you got eight. 220? Yeah, sure. Buy the forged iron. It's cheap enough. I'm not buying electrical parts. I can get those easy enough for now. Iron, clay soil. I think we got a lot of clay, but might as well grab what you got. Brass, coal. Sure. It saves me having to go get it. Can make a lot of gunpowder that way. Ooh, you got a military helmet, military boots. So I gotta spend some points here. I'm gonna buy you. I got an idea. So let's just do like. this first. So skill points. Uh, automatic weapons. Get it up as high as we can. So one more. Okay. Increased damage. This is nice. Then I want to go to here and get our armor crafting maxed out. That'll allow us to combine more things to get to a higher level. Tool crafting. Maybe we go quicker crafting. Let's go that route. And the one thing I've been neglecting if I go down here to the bottom, oh, not there, here, um, is Quality Joe, increasing loot level. I think we're probably high enough level. I don't need to worry about putting any points in that now, but that would have been something that been nice to do early on. I never really thought of it. But um, increasing our level by 25 when we're finding loot would have really helped out, but I think we're a little past that now. Um... So yeah, let's go one more point. What are we going to do? Pack mule maybe? Yeah, I think I think we go that route. We're going to have to do pack mule because I don't think we can max out our slots without doing that. So that's going to definitely help out overall. So let's go back into here. Uh, can I see your inventory? Your stuffs. So I'm going to grab the military helmet. I'm going to grab the boots. Because I can combine all this. I don't have to worry about making the armor. I can just combine the stuff. And it's generally, like, I don't want to say it's free, but it kind of is because I don't have to actually make anything. It's not like I have to go out and find military fiber and all that stuff. All right, let's well, go down. Brighten my day. I'm going to make another, um, going to make another M224 right now. Going to get our, all of our armor combined. Then we'll start working on the base. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff here, so let's see about combining all of our gear. Now, this guy we can just repair with this. Beautiful. Pull you out. Let's do... I'm going to make two M4s. We'll use this guy to repair them with. Uh, we got the foregrip mod put away. Let's put the rest of this stuff away. Alright, let's see how 
high of a level we can put this stuff now we've got a little bit more here we can modify you let's take you three out so for pants we've got a couple I thought we've got one can't get it past 40 I wonder if I have to be able to make it in order for that to work That'll go to 32. Uh, 44. They won't go past 44. Why not? This workbench only allows you to prove items to level 40. Maybe it's a military thing. That's a possibility. That is very much a possibility. All right, well. Uh, I guess that means we have to find better stuff. I mean, we might as well make some repairs while we're here. Uh, what about you? I think you're probably fine for now. Let's repair uh, the boots with... We have some cheap-ass boots. 24, I guess, is the best. Sure. Put those back on. 54 gloves. 17. Perfect. Alright, well, got some stuff repaired. Now, let's go ahead and modify you. Now, I need to make a lot of ammo. Or buy ammo. Modify you. Let's go see. We had the foregrip mod in here. I know I put it away. Uh, where are you? There you are. So let's go ahead and put all this stuff back. Can put those two in there as well. So this can go back in the firearm. Um, I don't even know why I'm holding on to those. I can go in the firearm. Let's do that now. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, Ammo wise, how are we looking? Really shit. We need ammo real bad. AP 9 mil. Yeah, so unless we're going out on a mission where we're getting a lot in return, then um, it's almost not worth. Uh, it's almost not worth it. That's got to go downstairs. Actually, let's just do... Put you in there for now. I think we're going to keep a stack of at least just 10 regular water on us. Actually, you know what? Let's keep a stack of this on us. It's better for rehydration. Probably going to be a, better, a lot better in the long run. Because getting burned it seems to be dehydrating us a fair bit. It does not go in there. Alright, uh, so that's done. Let's get some materials and start working on this base here. So I'll leave you there for now. So we've got our... I mined a whole bunch of stone. I should have set that going into the cement before we left this morning. Got some concrete. Orange giant. We don't have any steel. Well, we can solve that problem pretty quick. Uh, what else do we need? Rebar frame blocks we'll take with us for now. And I think that's it. Let's go ahead and do... Actually, you know what? We've got to grab the uh, spikes as well. Oh, in which case we're going to need a little extra iron. Okay, so 
A little bit of forged steel going in here. So let's get... Six thousand. Sure. Get that started. A little bit of steel there. Forge steel. How much is six hundred? That's a full stack. Beautiful. So we'll do six hundred there. Six hundred here. And then six hundred here. All right, that's that started. Let's go downstairs and do some work now. We got a bunch of work to do. Okay, now I think I've repaired. Have I repaired most of this stuff in the last war? I did. There's some blocks missing outside though, so we need to work on those. We're gonna have demons this next horde too, so. Got to figure out what we're doing there. Now, I also got to worry about these. how we're going to deal with these spider monkeys. The spiders did a number on us. Well, they didn't do a number on us, but they were like a huge nuisance last time. So we got to figure out what we're going to do with that. All right, let's get this repart little, just like this little bit over here repaired first. Okay, I'm going to go around the base of this here just to keep the outside secured. Okay, that's done. How are we looking down here? These guys need to be repaired and replaced. Okay, so that's those spikes down there. Let's go outside now. Oops, actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and put you in there. Keep that power protected. Now, this side is actually doing fairly well. They're really not touching this corner at all. Might as well get this updated, though. They didn't really do much here. Yeah, it's all pretty much intact. I still, I still want to like update these walls, though, just in case. Oh, hey, it's a cop. Click. Thanks for all the help, guys. All the much needed support, really wonderful. Appreciate it. Okay, that should be this side pretty much repaired. Let's get this corner updated. Okay, so that's good. Starting to run out of concrete here, I think. I should have checked the mixers. I can't remember if I had anything going there. All right, so that's pretty good. I know there's some repairs around the front that we want to do. Let's go have a quick look at that. Okay, these spikes are need a little bit of repair. It's nice to see they're still doing some work here. So somebody got mad out front here, it looks like. Let's replace these guys. Bring these frames down. How much concrete do we have left, though? Oh, we got lots. Here I am thinking we're, I'm, we're not going to run out here, but I don't think so. There we go. Let's get it back to normal shape here. Alright, uh... Might as well get the repairs on these guys. Any final updates? reinforce now these horde knights coming up reinforced concrete's not going to be that it's just not going to cut it we're going to tear through it like it's paper at least in the future anyway so i gotta be like ready for that okay looking pretty good i think we do want to take all these out though This guy's still trapped in here. I have any forged iron, eh? I gotta make you a bunker, buddy. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Just so that you can see out. Like, maybe we just... 
I don't want to hit this guy because if I hit him, he's going to kill me. Okay. And then we do... No. Yeah. Okay, we can repair that. Then we do... Okay, I don't think we can get a block in front of him. Can't. Do that. Those are reinforced already. Those updated. That, that, and that. Like that. And then we can do... Uh, shape. Let's get... This guy. And then advanced. There. See, I don't think it matters too much. Like, I don't know how these guys shoot. So then we can do... Oh, better get that updated. And then we can do... Uh, where are they here? Here. Three of these guys. We don't have any forged steel on us, do we? Dan or forged iron, I mean. It's okay. We'll, uh, we'll get some here in a second. One. Two. Three. We'll do that into forged steel. And then at least the guy's protected. Whether or not it lasts is a whole other question. So how much do we have here? Uh, Concrete-wise. So we got enough to do this bit. Watch him for screamers. Nobody? So I'm just thinking, too, that we have to do all the way. I can't just do, like... With that guard, I have to go all the way up to the top. Because if I leave it there, they might pile up on top of that. So I'm going to have to fill these blocks in. But I'm going to go from above and do that. So let's get this shape this way. Okay, that should at least kind of force them to go to the door. I'm pretty sure that's what it'll do. Okay, let's go get the forged iron. I need mechanical parts to fix these, right? Mechanical, electrical, and forged iron. Alright, we'll grab those. Okay, do we have any concrete running? We did. Beautiful. Beautiful! Lots of concrete. Start getting some more steel out here. Nice. And then the forged iron is... Here. No, here. Okay, bring that out. Uh, what else do we need? Anything? Might as well get as much of this going as we can. And then... That. Oops, not that. This. Excellent. I can all go back in there for now. So we need mechanical and electrical parts. Mechanical. We're doing really well in electrical parts. We're gonna need that for a lot of ammo going moving forward though. Alright, let's go out here. Prepare that. And get this updated. Okay, I can't get it from there. All right, let's go upstairs. Actually, let's just pull up here. Why not? Okay, now we should just be able to, like, knock out... Yeah, I don't think these are really doing anything. Nice spikes, but they're not doing anything for us at the moment. I should have brought cobble. Damn it. Because that's all... Yeah, it's all behind. Ah, fuck it. Let's go get it. Yeah, while I'm passing by here.
You know, I've said in the past I should always carry cobble with me when I'm doing repairs and stuff, but I just forget to do it. Oops, I need to get up on top here. Okay, now we can replace these guys. Oops, do this first. These guys. And then we'll do this one here in a second. Alright. Now this is not going to be the best update on this corner, but it will be updated anyway. And we'll at least have this guy kind of like well protected here. He dies, he dies. I should take all of this out. That's a lot of freaking work though. See, the thing is, is, I don't ever expect them to get over these walls. There's no reason for them to, like, pile up and go up these walls. There just isn't. I'm not really that worried about it. And if they do, they're just going to be heading to me anyway. I hope. I think that's all we want to do here. Now, that's, that's concrete in there. Yeah, see, they're not really banging on anything but the doors. This wall's, like, terrible, though. The weird thing is, I've been so confident about this back wall because they never... For some reason, they never hit on this wall. So I just have left it and not did anything with it, thinking that we'll be fine. And I'm sure we will be. There's one block over here I want to update. Where are you? Here you are. Alright, that kind of works for me. I think we're done with the repairs out here. I think we're ready for the next horde. Yeah, they don't even bang on these. Now, we're talking about moving forward. So what are we going to do moving forward? And I've been thinking about all different kinds of ideas. And at some point, this base is just not going to cut it. I, I have a nasty suspicion that they're just going to, like, rip through this. At 16 zombies, I'm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we'll be fine. Maybe I'm just, I'm worried for nothing. Which is, you know, highly likely because I, I do worry for nothing for a lot of things. Oh, yeah, we said we were going to get the, uh, all this updated down here. We'll wait for it to get wrecked, I think, and then we'll do it. Maybe that's a bad idea, but I think that's what we're going to do. Alright, there's the crickets. So now we've got 17 more of these guys to go. So here's what I was thinking. And I don't know if this is going to work. It might or might not. So... Currently, we've got the base set up so that we want them to come around this way and come after us in here, right? So if this fails, then what? Okay, we could go out this door and get on top of the walls and try and run around and fight on the walls. But if we're worried about, you know, taking damage from above, that's probably a bad idea, right? So what we can do is turn this place here into like a massive fortress and set it up so that all along here we have some swing doors that we can open up and we put mark two turrets in here facing kind of this direction here like so that they'll be covering the walkway but facing this direction so shooting the zombies relatively in the back and then when this fails right I could build a walkway out this way and we could go out and around and back into there and fight from the blockhouse, but make it so that they'll come out, like, the tall zombies will all get stopped here, because they won't be able to break through here until they do. Some of the later zombies are going to rip through this like it's paper, right? But if we're constantly barraging them in the back, like, we're going to have to find a way to remove their regeneration ability. Like, you saw the demons, right? If I didn't kill a demon, his health was almost pretty much back to full by the time I reloaded my clip. So we get to find a way to rinse those guys real fast. 
And if they've got a pathway that says, hey, you need to walk this way and go across here and come in here and get me over here. But then we stand with the turrets here facing their back at this direction and just shoot them as they come along here with the turret punking them off and everything still. They still have to run through the dart traps, which for the regenerating zombies is going to do absolutely nothing. Right? These traps are pretty much becoming completely useless now. So, I think resource-wise, at day 56, this is going to be the last last legs for these guys. So I don't know if I'll make any more ammo for them. We barely have any ammo left in there any, anyway. But I think maybe we just... Yeah, we got 500 rounds. We just forego it after this next horde. I mean, they, they do a bit of damage. That's pretty loaded up. That's pretty loaded up. Yeah, so they do do a little bit of damage, but not a whole lot. So... I mean, we, I think we let them go until they're out of ammo. Um, I think that's what we do. Just let them go until they're out of ammo, and then um, we'll just leave it. We won't even bother anymore. That'll be it. So, where was that damage that I saw here? Did I see damage? I did. Thought I got everything. Guess I did not. Alright, yeah, so then we reinforce this blockhouse because we can still shoot them like as they're coming up along here. I'll build a little fortification for these guys so I can't shoot them. But we can shoot straight along this direction here. Right? Straight out here. Because they're going to want to come this way and then go along that way to get to me. The other thing too is maybe we... Like we do it so that it goes out, like out this way a little bit and then over. Because I think the advantage of having this long catwalk here is it gives us the ability to shoot them while they're trying to get to us. It puts them all in a line. So if using things like AP ammo, we can shoot straight through all of them. So that's a possibility. We take out this catwalk so they can't get up to the roof. Right? And then... Like, we can still shoot them from up here if we wanted to. I, God, I hate the fact that this is like this. I want to drop all of this metal off here because I can't put... I can't put turrets down up here. It's such a shitty thing. Like, these are like 2,000 hit points each. See, I don't... I don't know. I'm up in the air about this. Like, we could build something like this all the way along here, but then later on, when the flyers, like the demonic flyers come in, they're just going to shoot burn... like, going to burn holes through all this and get us. It won't matter where we are up along here. The fact that we can't see the zombies down below from this position, too, is, like, a, is problematic. So, I don't know. Gotta think about it. I gotta think about it. Maybe it's... Like, I like the idea of funneling them up this way and just, just like, rinsing them right here and forcing them to go that way. Hopefully, if we can get a, like if we can get our ability up, then we have two junk turrets running at once. Like, I don't know if they're gonna just run right past them. But at least if we have the laser gun here to remove the regeneration for the demons... At least if we hit them, and they work their way along this way, these junk turrets, they can knock them off. They won't regenerate by the time they get back up here. And then we can have, like, you know, if they get past us, we have the reg like regular Mark II turrets over here, shooting them as they're going along. Stripping even more health off them. And then maybe we can do the same thing down here. Or, ah, I don't want to do that. I was going to say we can have Mark II with mark two turrets down here shooting them when they fall off but then if there's like a demo or they're running in anyway like if they're just running in we're going to be shooting them and then 
it's not going to be um, it's not going to be effective because they're just going to regenerate all that health back and it'll be a waste of ammo. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a it's a tricky situation. The only way to do it is to just try it and see. I think the next horde this base should be fine on. I don't think we need to worry too much about the situation here. It's just after this next horde. Like, we'll know for sure. So I turned the difficulty up, so we're going to get even tougher zombies, right? So we'll know for sure after this horde how much we're going to need to upgrade this. Because we can go from steel to titanium. Like, these have blocks have 10,000 hit points right now. And titanium goes to 25,000. But if you're not shooting the enemy and stopping them from hitting the block, they're just going to tear through it like paper. Like, And I can put plates on here. So that's not an issue. To double the, double the protection here. I just got to... Ah, I never even thought... I got to have to put stuff so they can't get on the roof here, too. It's something I hadn't considered. And some of these zombies are like three three blocks, four blocks high. So we're going to have to like... Extend this part up. Including this part. I got to take that out now. Damn it. Unless we put plates along the front here. Yeah, we'd want to like do that. But these don't need to be full blocks. They can be plates. We can double plate it. And then just put an overhang. I can't put it. Oh yeah, I could put an overhang. So we would do this. Actually, let's go and just take a look here real quick. So if we grab these guys, right? Like that. And then we do them on this side. Like this. Like that. And then we're going to have them all along here too. Then we can do... Like on top of that coming out this way. We can have like just a little overhang. So that they stack up here for whatever reason. I mean I don't for, ever foresee them stacking up here. But if they stack up here. Then we can just... Like they can't get up on the roof. And I think at some point. We're going to have to close this off. Because the demons are just, like, even if I'm standing here fighting, they're just going to shoot. Well, they probably, probably can't see me there. Maybe we just close part of this one off. Or we could put hatches. To open and close them to throw stuff down if we want to shoot or whatever. Then just close them if we don't, don't care. Or a door. That opens to the top. Like put it on its side, have it open to the top. Hearing somebody outside. Go smoke this guy real quick. So yeah, I'm going to work on this tonight. Yeah. I just repaired the outside people. I just repaired this. What the fuck, guys? We don't have any guards in this corner at all. This guy down there should have rinsed that guy. He never did. Once the, uh, the flying demons come, these guards are toast. So we're definitely going to have to put stuff over top of them. Where are you shooting? Is that guy alive? Nope. What are you shooting? That guy?
I don't know. There's somebody somewhere. Apparently not anymore. Alright, well. I'm going to work on getting the plates on this tonight, I think. I think we might as well put it up for this horde. We're going to have to do it eventually anyway, so we might as well get them on now. At least that way we've got them set up and ready to go. And then we'll worry about the stuff later on. Ah, uh, we want to have that there. So I can see down. So that's as far as they'll go. I, mean, I could do the plates here. But I don't think we need to. Those plates aren't going to do anything. Alright, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.